Caldwell Pope for three. Offensive rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Vanderbilt. Beasley with a clean look. Beasley. And the three ball is good. Beasley's got his first three points of the game. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It, it's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The, the Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. The Lakers in the lead. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Bamba. To the middle. And he banks in the layup. And the Lakers lead by four. Loving the toughness there from Bamba. Just needs to keep proving that he's not to be messed with. It's Beasley on the wing. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Beasley's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Lakers. Pass to Brown. Back to Jokic. To end the cold streak. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Plays a rugged game down low. Jokic's toughness adds character to the identity of this team. That one goes in. Guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. And how about absorbing the punishment and still complete the play? That's a great finish by Jokic. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. And back in 2021, Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP. The 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick to win the award. Down low, round, good. And that's how you execute offensively. Murray with a great job of getting it to his teammate. Pass to Vanderbilt. That one's not going to go. And Denver the other way now. Inside. Here's Gordon. Back to Jokic. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And this is why Jokic is an all-star, all-NBA caliber talent. Because of his ability to dominate in an effortless fashion. And it's Brown missing. To the paint. Here's Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got six. And the size Porter Jr. has helps him on those physical takes. Great work inside there. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Murray. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Out to the right wing. Outside, Gordon, for the lead, and again, it's Denver. And the coaching staff wants Gordon to keep taking those. It's only going to help him get better. And finished off by LeBron. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. What I imagine is that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. 
And, and look, if you're going to allow him to get to the bucket that easily, this lead's going to go from small to big real quick. Ray, here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot, but... I'd go with the Lakers, more superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he, he's got a point, David. We thank you for your report. The Nuggets trailed by five. Jokic way outside. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Here's Bryant. Who's back up? Gordon with no one around. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Gordon's got 12 points in the game. And Gordon understands the importance of stretching the floor. And he remains a capable three-point shooter. Now, here is Russell. And Davis puts it in. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. And Bryant wide open. He shoots. Another three for Denver. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down, 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. And again, the Lakers no good. Jokic has a two-pointer. And Denver again with the bucket. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Russell with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Here's James. And the dunk by LeBron. The end oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And it's a challenge trying to guard Jokic from there. Adept at making you foul him on the way up. And Jokic drops them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. And it's Davis missing. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Back to Bryant. Gordon outside. The putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Kicks it out to James. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Jokic. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. 
another shot. And Jokic lays it up and in. Jokic just got the lead up to seven now for the Nuggets. To the page. And James throws it down. Now look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice move like this. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. The Nuggets have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. At the line for Denver, Thomas Bryant. He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. And so it's the Denver Nuggets bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Yep. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Lakers trail by seven. LeBron outside. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Down low. Here's Jokic. And he uses the glass on the lane. Jokic just got 10 points in just the second half. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. Here's LeBron. Comes up empty down low. The Nuggets lead by nine. Inside. It's stolen by Davis. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Walker with a clean look. Off target with his three. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Nuggets. To the middle. Here's Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Uh-oh, everything is going AD's way. He is in that zone and scoring at a terrific pace. A shot's good from Bryant. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Pass to Davis. Shakes him. And it's slammed in by Davis. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. Height, he's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter it. Jokic. Lays it up and banks it in. 25 points for Jokic. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. That doesn't go either for Davis. The Nuggets leading by nine. Out to the wing. Wide open look here for Murray. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And the foul on Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. And stolen by Gordon. Good anticipation defensively. See the pass coming and manage it to snatch it. Run it. Lakers trail by nine. Here's Davis. Finish off the break. Assisted. Davis has got Three. six here in this quarter. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact line just with ease, just with authority. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. And that'll be his third foul so far. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Jokic. Great tee that time from Davis. And that one misses. Shooting from Los Angeles. And here's Los Angeles. Shooting one. Inside. Jokic with the steal. Caldwell Pope for three. Good on the triple. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nuggets. The defenses beware.
future. I'm really, really this time.